The last tutorial was about design schemes and the Variation Blueprint Actor. Variation groups give a bit more control over the Variation Blueprint. Each Variation Blueprint in the scene can be set up individually if, and how, it should react to a change request. We added five material variations to the couch and the armchair meshes. But currently we are only using the first two of them for the design scheme. We are going to use the other three with the variation group. First add another feature with preview to the array in the info map. The next ID of the array is number 3. Set the type to variation group and name it seating variations. Add three options for it and name them alternative 1, 2, and 3. There are three images in the UI3 asset text folder we can use as placeholders for now. Later they can be replaced by screenshot of each variation from the scene. Set the option value to 0, 1, and 2, the same as the index of the option array. The UI feature could be added to the Variations menu. But let's add a new Main Menu button after the Variations button instead, and call it Edit. I'll use the Edit icon here and change the Variations icon to the Star icon. Then I add two panels to the Feature Panel Array. The first one will be the Variation Group. It is a feature with Preview Panel with ID number 3. The second panel will be the Edit Mode feature. It lets you change individual variation blueprints in the scene. More about this later. This is how it looks now. The variation groups are not yet working. The variation blueprints in the scene need to be set up to work with the variation group. Select the Blueprint Actor for the couch and browse to the Variation Groups array. Add an element by clicking the plus icon. The feature with Preview ID of the Variation Group was number 3. Enter 3 as the feature ID. Add 3 options to the Options array. The same amount that the Variation Group has. Now enter the ID from the Variation Materials array for each of the options. Option ID number 0 should be the blue material which is variation material ID number 2. Option number 1 should be the green material which is variation number 3. Option number 2 should be the second red material which is variation number 4. That's it. Now the couch should be changed with the variation group feature. We have to play the scene to find out if the variation group works. The couch had already changed its color to blue. Because that is the default color of the variation group. The default of the design scheme should appear instead when start playing. The default value of the features with preview will be applied from top to bottom. So the default of the variation group will be applied after the default of the design scheme. We have to swap their position in the feature with preview array. I move the variation group to position 1. and then the design scheme to position 3. Now the couch color is correct when starting the game, but the UI shows the wrong features. We have to update the feature with Preview ID in the UI for the variations and the Edit Main Menu buttons.
We also have to update the feature ID in the variation group array of the variation blueprint for the couch. The new ID is number 1. Now everything is as it should. The armchair and the footrest should also be part of the variation group. An easy way to set their blueprints up is to copy the array from the couch. And then paste it into the variation group's array of the armchair and footrest. The couch and armchair colors are not matching. The red material is on variation index number 2 and the blue material at number 4. I set this in the variations index accordingly. Then I paste it from the chair to the footrest. Now the colors match. This is what we got so far. The scenario changes the kitchen layout by loading a different sublevel that contains all assets for this layout. The design scheme can change all meshes to a different material using the variation blueprint actor. The variation group can change the materials of the seating elements. In the next tutorial we are going to look at the edit mode, that allows the user to change individual meshes in the scene.